the south of Ukraine, controlled by Russia, who are keen to show how life has returned to normal for those living there. Budansk fell at the start of the invasion. Now Russian flags are draped on official buildings. For the first time since February, weddings are taking place. Six couples at a time. The Russian national anthem plays to close out a ceremony where there were more journalists than guests. The unions were conducted under Russian law, an example of the Russification in the south of Ukraine. The Russians have designated administrative heads to address the media. Their intentions are clear. For the time being, it's a civilian military administration. We see our future as being with Russia. Further west, in the town of Melitopol, there were protests when the Russians arrived. The town square is now closely guarded by Russian soldiers, while military vehicles play patriotic songs. Red flags fly high, a throwback to the Soviet era. I came with a red flag, so Russia will be victorious. I'm not scared of anything because we live well with the Russians. But not everyone is as willing to accept the change of regime. Prices have gone up. They put up a new flag. Before it was our Ukrainian flag. There's also soldiers here permanently and not from our side. It's hard to say what we think. We're neutral, let's just say that. In Mariupol, a city devastated by shelling, the Russians have set up a distribution center. The boxes are marked with the letter Z, a sign of the Russian operation. These aids aren't enough to appease some, as arguments break out in the crowd. A soldier tries to calm residents who have spent a long time waiting for water and electricity. Life in the city can't return to normal just yet, as it needs to be completely demined. <laughs>